Welcome back guys. So today we will be continuing tutorial presentation on computer arithmetic. So today we will be learning about sequential multiplication of unsigned binary number. So I will just give the introduction. So let us consider M is the multiplicand. M is the multiplicand. Q is the multiplier. A is the accumulator register, accumulator register that is initially set to zero, and n is n stores the number of bits, number of bits. Q stores the end carry, and C stores the end carry bit generator after addition. So there is a flowchart for this algorithm. So I'll just draw this flowchart so this is the flowchart that I have drawn so I will just explain it first we will start we will initially set to accumulator register to 0 and C is our end carry that is we will set, set to 0 M is the multiplicand Q is the multiplier and is the number of bits first we will set the Q that is the first position I will just explain this whole flowchart with an example so that it will be very clear if it is yes so we will do addition A equals to A plus M I will just explain what is if no, then write shift. Then we'll just write shift in the order C A Q, and if then it will go to the n equals to m minus one. And if n equals to zero, then we'll, we'll find the product. If not, then again we'll repeat this process. So I'll just explain this. So this is our example. So we need to multiply six by fourteen using sequential unsigned binary multiplication. So for this case, our multiplicand m that is equals to six. So we'll convert into binary, and our multiplier that is q that is will be equals to 14 that is 1 1 1 0 so now we'll just make a small table so i've made this table for just to make it look compact and it will be easy to understand so initially our from our table a and c are set to 0 this is the q naught which i've been talking about so our step 1 so step 1 so c and a will be 0 so we'll just write in binary and Q so so since I have seen that our Q0 is 0 so what we need to do so Q0 is 0 no so right shift C A Q so the order of right shift it must be from C A Q C A is 0 C is 0 so 0 comes here and this suppose this was all four zeros so 0 0 0 and this 0 will come here so this will be 0 this will come here, this will come here, this will come here. So this zero has vanished. So next operation is n equals to n minus 1. So n here was originally 4. Now it will come to 3. So the operation we did was write shift. I am writing short form rs. That is in order of c a q. And we have also done n equals to n minus 1. So we need to write in like this format. So it will be easy for the examiner to understand. Next is our step 2. Again our c is 0. A is still 0. Let us see what A will be. So now we will see that our Q0, this is our Q0, is 1. So Q0 is 1, so A equals to A plus M. So I will just write what is A. So A is 4 zeros and M. M is 0, 1, 1, 0. So adding this, so this will be this. So our A has been updated. Now we need to. So I just missed this small line. So we need to also go there. So A equals to A plus M. Now we'll just right shift it. So on right shifting we get 0. For, just I'm copying the above step and I have written A equals to A plus M. Now I'm just doing the right shift. So 0. This will be 0. This will be 0, this 0 comes here, this 0 comes here, 1, 1, this will be 0, 0, 1, 1, and 2. We have done right shift, C, A, Q, and N equals to N minus 1. We have done two steps. See, right shift, then N equals to N minus 1. N is 0, N is not 0, so again go back. So, step 3. This is C is 0, now Q0 is 1, so Q0 is 1, we need to update the A. So, our a, previously a was 0. So, now we will just 
update the a so this will be 0 0 1 1 plus 0 1 1 0 so this will be 1 0 0 1 so a has been updated I'll just copy the above a equals to a plus m now just right shift so this will be 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 1 1 this is right shift and n equals to n minus 1 for the last step as you know this will be 0 this is 0 q0 is 1 so we need to just update the a so our a was 0 1 0 0 that is our a and our m is 0 1 1 0 so this will be 0 1 this will be 0 this will be 1 so our a is 1 0 1 0 and just copying this above a equals to a plus m and just final step just right shifting this will be 0 1 1 1 0 and this is 0 right shift n equals to n minus 1 so now our n has become 0 so what we see so our product will be a q so let us see what our product has come product equals to a q the order must be maintained a q so this is our a yes this is our a so 0 1 0 1 and this is q 0 1 0 0 so now what we what is 6 multiplied by 14 that is 84 so this is our product so let us see is it really 84 or not so this is 1 this is this is 1 2 4 8 16 32 64 and this is 128 so 64 plus 16 plus 4 let us see what is that 20 and 20 plus 64 is 84 so the result has been verified so this is how you do multiplication through unsigned binary number so thanks for watching it